closer to the end. It's really a pain here that they had to have a marv without waiting. It's a tremendous chutzpah. What can I do? Uh, we are on... Uh, to kids. Right. But I actually like you here tonight. This guy is... You don't like it? It's too difficult to come here. But it's not. It's exciting here tonight. It's actually... There's noise. Oh, it's, it's noisy, but I like this place. It's very comfortable. Oh, but this is very comfortable. We're in a tough building. What? I don't it's smell from my, my, from my head injury. I have a very poor very smell. Learning. That's comfortable learning. No, I say I the noise have, is good I noise. Have, uh, about an 85% loss of smell as a result. Uh, we are on uh, uh, Amid Aleph and uh, Lamed Ches. Okay, cut it from the beginning of Allah Chabez again. Amr HaGamliel, Lamed Chesim Raub. Amr HaGamliel, Ma'ezah bit stoiki echot shayot dari monu b'mavi b'yushalayim. So Ma'ezah was turned stoiki, a certain sadacy, who live with us in a, in a courtyard, in a, in a alley in Yushalayim. Amr HaGamliel, Amr HaGamliel, so da- daddy said to us, Ma'ruv al tiyaz kol keil ha'mavi, Quickly going to take all the came out to Morvi. Achlo Yoyti before he takes out the Esra Lechem. Now the way well, the, the Mishnah is very cryptic. The, what 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 Tanakama here says is that the guy the Stoki can be Mavato Rishusa, which means he's like a Jew because the guy can't be Mavato Rishus. He can renounce his rights. The thing is, in renouncing his rights, he can hop him back. The only time you can hop them back, however, is if we have not yet taken hold of his rights. However, if we've taken hold of his rights, so then he can't get them back. So therefore they said, quickly go and put stuff out in the alley so we can grab hold of his rights in the alley, and then he can't grab it back anymore. Okay? That's what he says, said to them. Now, why does Eruv not work with its stoking? Why can't you make an error for Stoki? Because he's ain't no moida bereiru. He doesn't concede that there's gods of eru. You want to make an error, you have to be moida bereiru. What? He, but he's not a goy, and therefore you can't do schiras rishus from him. You cannot borrow. You cannot rent the property from him. That's Tanakama's opinion. Now, Rabbi Yudah argues. Rabbi Yudah Omer of Loshen Acheres. He just says a different Loshen. Maruv asut zarcheichem b'mavi atchlo yotzi v'asor lechem. Go quickly and do what you need to do in the Mavi before Shabbos begins. And he answers on you. Meaning, Rabbi Yehuda holds that he is Mamish a Goy. He is a Goy. And he can't do with the Rishos. The only thing you can do with him is Schiras Rishos. That's it. Mamish is a Goy. Tzedok is like a Goy. Now the truth is, as we'll see in Omid Beis, a Tzedok is not the same thing as a Mechal Shabbos. They kept Shabbos. But they didn't concede an Eruv. Why didn't they concede an Eruv? It was Midrash Bonner, right? So he's not a Mechal Shabbos Teresa, but he doesn't concede Eruv. So it's a Machlokas, how do we regard it Stoki? We regard it Stoki as being somebody who's Jewish, just he can't make an Eruv, but he can make Bitter Rishos, and cannot make Schiras Rishos, cannot rent, or we say it's like a Goy, and therefore you have to do for him Schiras Rishos. Okay, is that all clear? Says more for the Rabbi Yachob and Rabbi Chinni B'Shem Kano said, Ain't Allah like Rabbi Yehuda. Allah is not like Rabbi Yehuda. Says my the low came minor number. If not, if you hadn't told us that, what would we have said? You think we would have said Rabbi Yehuda Chachomim Tei Allah like Rabbi Yehuda? They would have said Rabbi Yehuda argues that Tanakamu was the Chachomim that we should pass like Rabbi Yehuda. We don't pass him like a it's a single individual, a solitary individual where we have a Rabbim, right? El, so that's Poshan. No. Says Mel Bukin, the Marabi Yaakov, Rabbi Shem, Rabbi Shem, and Levi. Since Rabbi Yaakov, he said, Name Rabbi Shem and Levi. How long could he be Mishu, make a bill, Chaseravin? How long is it like he was leaning at Chaseravin? And Rabbi we find that explicitly. Rabbi Yitzhak, by Nagab Shem, Rabbi Shem, and Levi said, How long could Rabbi Yochum and Nuri? Now, Lord Lord Yochum and Nuri was in the case a guy who fr- fell asleep Friday afternoon. He slept through Bain Hashemashos. And now he wakes up in the middle of the field on Friday night. Does he have 2,000 amas or not? So Rechomi said, no, he doesn't. Rabbi Yochman says, yes, he does. Because he holds chef, say, hefker, koinim shviso. Just like an object which is hefker acquires 
2,000 amas. So to the guy who was sleeping, he acquires 2,000 amas. That's a big one. <laughs> so, um, so, so lazy. Okay, it's a Gilgal. We used to say that all the, the the souls of all the traditional rabbis, they all float around here in the dome. <laughs> so that's why they have that's why they have such a big dome here. So uh, it flies as it could be. All right. Is that it for the dome? <laughs> So in any event, so says the Gemara. Uh, so says the Gemara. There we pass the Rebbe Yochanan, and he's a Yochid, right? He's a Yochid. He's a single sol- solitary Tana, and we and he's the Mako. So here too we might say Paskin like Rebbe Yehuda is a Yochid, who's Mako. Now how's he Mako over here? He doesn't allow bitter rishus, but he allows chiras rishus. Tana Kama doesn't allow chiras rishus. He allows bitter rishus. Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yudah doesn't allow Bitu, but he does allow Schirus. From the Tztoki. From the Tztoki. So I might say that's a Kula. I might have said that's a Kula. And I might have passed him like him in this respect, right? Because she not a law. Now, get, we're still in the tangent there. Once you met Rabbi Yossi Manuri, we're going to focus on that for a couple of minutes. Because she we asked over there, so why do you have to tell us how long it's like Rabbi Yochum Nuri? It's Bashar. And on that we said over there, why do you have to say how long it's like Rabbi Yochum Nuri? If I love so it's like the Mako, so it's Bash, we pass back Rabbi Yochum Nuri. And the next word is a typo. It says Kormanich me umitart sida on our law. And we answered over there. So every member that we thought to say biyochi neitzel yochi. When do I pass in like the leading opinion when it's one on one? Av yochi neitzel chachamim lo. But it's ma- one against the masses. I might not pass in like the yochi, even if though it's the makel. So therefore, over there, Asher Rabbi Yaakov Barach and Rabbi Yaakov Baridi, Vushem Rabbi Shimon Levi, and Sal Lok Rabbi Yochum Ben Nuri, Fafilu Chachamim Chokim Olah. Hello, Sal Rabbi Yochum Ben Nuri, even though Chachamim argue him, and also to hear the Kote Sal Lok Rabbi Yehuda, Fafilu Chachamim Chokim Love. Here we should say Sal Lok Rabbi Yehuda, even though Chachamim argue on him. That would have been the half amina. So that's why the Gemara at the beginning has to say that here we don't bask in like Rabbi Yehuda. We don't bask in like him. The truth is, because here Rabbi is really not Mako. He's a Kula in that he allows Schiris Rishos. But it's a Chumra in that he doesn't allow Bitter Rishos. He allows renting, but doesn't allow renouncing. So that's why I have to tell us, it's not really a Kula, and therefore we don't pass like Rabbi Yudah. Even though we do pass in like a Yochi B'mokam Rabim, the Kula, but not in this case. Okay? Perhaps it's easier to do Schiris Rishos than Bitter Rishos when it's still. So he may not want to do that. I don't know. On the contrary, he might take umbrage. Because you do scriptures from him, you're depriving him of his legitimacy. Right. It's a shortcoming in pluralism. So therefore, he might want to dafka do a bit of shoes. Okay? So it says the Gemara, Rabbi Yemiya, the Shem Rav said, Chotzer Shesha Shnei Psachim. You got a courtyard with two doorways. Yisrael Akum Dorim Besocha, and and um, and Yisrael and Goy live within it. The truth is, it's it's better to um, it's better if I draw. Can I have that piece of paper, please? Chotzesh Lebedush Nei Besocha means you have a courtyard. Here's the chotzer. Here you have two houses. Israel Akum. This hut has got two openings, one over here and one over here, each of which goes into a Mavwi. Okay, these two are separate Mavos. The question is, which Mavwi do they have to participate with in the Shitufe Mavos? Okay, so it says more. The Jew 
go participates with the movie with which he normally is accustomed to use. Now he has to make a shiva them. Let's say this is the ragil. This is one he's accustomed to use. This is Eino Rogil. He's not accustomed, right? So he has to make the shita with this Mavi. What if he made the shita with this Mavi? This may, then these guys might not be able to carry. Because he did the wrong Mavi. He normally goes out this door. So he answers on them. And unless he did a shita with them, it's not going to be permissible. That's all we'll see. Okay? So in any event, it's... Um, at ma uh uh you by the um by the guy you have to go even after the one which he doesn't normally go out with. Meaning that both mavos have to be so harushus from him. The Israel only has to do she tufe mavos with the mov he normally uses. But the guy has gotta do she tufe it gotta be so harushus to both mavos. Because who knows, he might mess uh, either one up, right? Since he has no concern, the Jew knows only to go out through the one, not to mess up the other one. But the guy, he has no such qualms, so therefore both of them have to be so chrushus from him. Now, what if there's a case like this, similar case, however? This is the case. Israel. Akum Israel. Now the two openings to this yard are low over here. So in order for this Akum to get out, the way to get out, he's got to go to one of the Jewish houses. So here he can't he can't switch back and forth. Why is that? Because here, since he's going out through a courtyard, a common courtyard, he can go which out which out of everyone he wants. So he has to participate in Shirsu Shus with both. But in this case where he's sandwiched. So he only will go out the way he can normally go out because the other guy's not going to let him go through. Because there's a question of going through here. He's impinging on about somebody else's property. So the only way somebody's going to let him through is if, on the way he normally is accustomed to go. So in this case, only the one in which he's rogil has to be so chereshus from him, not the one in which he's not rogil. Okay? So, um, again, Yisroh um, Yisroh Mikav Vakum you go after the normal one, whichever one the, the, the guy normally goes out through. Bito Rishuso. What if the guy, Bito Rishuso, the Jew is Mabato Rishus, Harogil, and the, um, uh, towards his Rogil. In other words, instead of participating in Shnuva he said, I'm renouncing all my rights in the in the Mavi I normally go out with. Well, that's fine for them, but that backfires on them. Because since he renounced his rights to go out this way, what's he going to end up doing? Going up the other way. So even though we're, we're, we're all things equal, they have to make a student votes in this one, and not in this one, because there's not no karma customer go out, going out this one, he could still carry out this way, be considered a guest vis-a-vis -vis that movie. Now that he's renounced his rights in this movie, did Bittel, he cannot, he, 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 he's going to for sure go out this way. So he's for sure going to go out this way, so therefore, if he doesn't do sheet of mivos with them, he answers them, they cannot carry. Okay? Sheet of mivos with them, or spheres with the guy? Forget about the guy. Oh, Yeah, we're not dealing with the guy at this point. Um... What about the comment of the Jew living with the guy one on one? That, uh, yeah, but that doesn't apply to the Mavi. That's for the Chatzah, they don't need any of Chatzah, but for the Ma or Sikhs but for the Mavi, they still have to make something. Because there's more than one Jew, one guy in the Mavi. Okay? He's Gershu, uh, 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 he's Gershu, so if the, the guy was masked Gershu to one of them, uh, he searches our rugged. He was masked with the guys that normally custom do. Now she's saying a rugged, rugged, the same prank. They go out the other way. So he has to be so rushed to, to the other ones as well. Erev she ain't no rugged. What if the, uh, the the Jew made an air with the place he doesn't normally go out from? Ruta rugged. So the place he normally goes out from, they're stuck. Because they should have made an air with him and then didn't. And therefore they can't carry it out at all. Now. All this till now, we're talking about ger, uh, at Stoki. However, a ger toishov, ger toishov means a guy who lives in Eretz Yisrael, keeps shemitz pnei noach, 
or an Evid, a slave. Uh, Evid Toyshav, who lives in Eretz Yisro, uh, uh, as well. He's not a gear, but he's never the same idea. Mumar Begili Panim, a brazen Meshumut. Hareo Gakum Chodov, they're all like going for all matters, and he can be so Kharishus from them. Okay, you don't have to be, you don't do air from them, you do scarce Rishus. Yeah, brazen, right. Bukhakis. Um, Istani uh, Tani, there are the Anoim who learned Takustar, an officer of the of the of the the foreign armies of non-Jewish armies. Eiser Miyat, whenever he comes and takes up residence in your neighborhood, he immediately considers consider resident, and you have to do squares and shoes for him. Otherwise, you cannot carry. However, Aksanya soldiers which are quartered. Remember that's so how we revolted against the British. Soldiers which are quartered in our houses, they do they do not. We I meant the Americans, not the uh, not the uh, Israelis. That's why the uh, uh, what? I I I don't think any of us any of us over in the vote in 1776, but. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, the, the soldiers who take up residence, they require 30 days in order to answer the, um, in order to answer the, um, the resident, the, in order to that we have to scare the shoes from them. East Tani, there was another verse that says, Hakustaraisel Achashloishim. Even the officer only answers after 30 days. Vachsanya, the, uh, the, the, um, the soldiers. Ain't no says so they're never considered to be semi permanent residents and therefore they never forbid. Madamar Kustar Isamiyariu said that the Kustar answers when he comes immediately, Birogyo. That's talking about when he comes frequently. He comes frequently, so he's, he's not a guest, so it's immediate. And that the Achsanyo asks after 30 days, the Shaina Rogil, it's one which is not accustomed to coming. Here and therefore they need 30 days to establish a presence. Madamar Kusto Eisel Achashloishim says that even the officer requires 30 days. Beilein Bershus. So about or the island Bershus it should be according to Shneinus Chos. It's so about those who come with Rishus and therefore even though they don't come frequently, but they come with Rishus and therefore after 30 days they're considered to be resident. However, the people held that the quarter soldiers never rehab needs chairs or shoes. But Elaine the island below should say about those who are you're pressed to take, right? A quartered by you without your agreement, and therefore you never do chairs or shoes to them because they're impinging upon you. They have no right to be there, and therefore you don't have to do chairs or shoes for them. Rabbi Yaakov, Rabbi Shem, Rabbi Lezer said, "Bitu rishus beneon." The difference between the two Tanoim in our Mishnah, Tarakam Rabbi Yehuda, is where the Bitur Shus works by the Tztoki. We said Tarakam holds it doesn't. Rabbi Yehuda holds it. Tarakam holds it does. Rabbi Yehuda holds it doesn't. Rabbi Meir Omer, Yeshlo, Rabbi Meir holds the Tarakama, Yeshlo Bitur Shus. He holds that they have Bitur Shus. Rabbonon, we are Rabbi Yehuda, uh, Armin Elo Bitur Shus. Now, as the Gears is messed up, shouldn't really be Rabbonon, it should be Rabbi Yehuda. Right, because we said before, Sarah Bona to Das Yochi. So I guess you have to change the gear, so I didn't notice if anybody did. Okay, Rameo Mary H. Lubit Rashus. So that's where our mayor says that Stoki can renounce his Rashus. Vata Marmaru. So why don't Gamil say, quick, why don't Gamil's father say, take quickly take Caleb out to the huts there and establish a presence before the guy reneges? He was Mavata Rashus. Once he's Mavata, he's Mavata. Why do you have to establish presence? Says more fundamental concept. I've got a man who says, Yes, to be true shoes, Mavata shoes, Zohar, but Mavata shoes. He concedes that if the guy goes out, for the stoke goes out first. And reasserts his ownership, he can renege on the beat. Now, Lieberman brings down that this is a fascinating concept in the Ushami. Not just here, but even in Choshe Mishma. The 
If I tell you, I sell you a field. We already completed the transaction. Now I tell you, go down to the field, establish a presence and acquire it. You take your time getting down there. As you're going down, I have a change of heart. I run down to the field and I reestablish my presence there. That cancels the sale. Yeah, but that's what it's saying here too. Even though you, the guy, even though the stock is about the rishus, were to establish a presence there or to cancel the bitter rishus, again, the presence of the previous owner, the seller, negates the sale. As long as the sale was not consummated yet, what consummates the sale? The placement of objects there, the presence there. As long as it's not consummated, I can renege on the deal, even the chayshemish, but not just over here in a question of arachai. Okay. The Tani came. So says Gemara. That will come to. We're just going to discuss that momentarily. Just a moment. Oh, is it going to discuss it here? No, no, I'm in base. We're just going to discuss it on base. Says Gemara Tani Kate. We learn I may hold this bit away. Nation may battle with Shusuki Strahd. The very mayor. So, I just said that the reason why the stoke was to have the stokey works on me is because it's about the Rishus. Ask the Gemara now a question, however. Bain Shoike, Ben Mason, I raise it. Oh, he said. It's a fragment from a bison. It says that a mayor says later, oh, oh, from a Mishnah, sorry. Later it says that somebody was, who was Mavata Rishus. And then take um, took out our, our projects and put him in the uh, in the Meshusi was Mavato, he cancels it. And show him amazing how raise the oyster it answers the um, it answers the property. So um, Right, and this story about even after even after the Rabbi, even after the, the the person to whom the bitter was directed was Moti Kalim. Now the Kash is where it sounds in our Mishnah that once Rav Gamliel had taken out Kalim into the Mavli, the guy couldn't renege. Yet later on it says it, that he, regardless of how the per, not the guy, that's Toki, regardless of how the person who's Mevato reneges, Ben Bishoya Ben Mimezit, it's Mevato, right? Ben Bishoya Ben Mimezit, I raise the Oser, it answers the bitter. So it's, even if you took out Kalim, when the person of Mavato cancels his bitl, even though your Kalim were there, we disregard them and it reverts back to his ownership. So if that's the case, it's a kasha. According to mayor, what good does it do that in our Mishnah they raced out to put their Kalim out? Should do no good whatsoever. Is that clear, the Gemara's question? Says my very easy answer. Amen, the Mishnah. What is the Mishnah? What should the Mishnah say later on? Kini is the way to read the Mishnah. Ain't no ois there. Once I put my kalim out, you cannot renege. If you dip it through a shush, and I ran and seized all the property, you cannot renege on the deal. Okay? Rabbi Yahweh Shev Echidah said, Everybody agrees that it's Togi can be Mavat Roshus. C-A-N, can. My plea, what's the question? Lachzor, boy. Can you renege on it? Rabbi Meir, I remember Vata Roshuso, major typos here. The Ainoi Choyzerbo, he cannot renege. Rabbi Nami Vata Roshuso, the Choyzerbo, he can renege. Rabbi Nami Vata Roshuso, the Mishnah. Right, Mayor, Mayor, so that's where, again, the same question we just asked a few moments ago. It's repetitious. Right, Mayor, Mayor, Vato, Shuso, Veino, Choyzebo, Vato, Mar, Maru. If the Mavato cannot renege, why did they quickly have to run out with the candle and put them in the Mavli? Avogadre, Mayor, Mayor, Mavato, Shuso, Eino, Choyzebo, says, even though the Mayor, to the Vato, Shuso, cannot renege, Boydu, Shuzoch, Mavli, Trila. You can see that it goes, however, by whoever grabbed onto the monthly first. When can we renege? After I put my Kalim there. But before I put my Kalim there, he can hop around, run out, and put his Kalim there and cancel the bit. Okay? So it's only afterwards that it sets in stone. Again, the more 
goes uh, repeats itself. The tiny can we learn right here? Oh, that this bit of a nation of battle should be so the Rabbi Mayor. A great can be about the bit so can be about the Rishus. And again, I say question I say as Ben Bishop Ben Mason raised the oyster, which means you're going to on the deal. Can he match this? So I know I said this way to read the Mishnah. I know I said can't renege on the deal. Okay? And, um, said, who says in this next Mishnah? No, it's the Mishnah Loch now. Okay. Actually, Chotzer showed a little man below here. Now, one of the guys in the Chotzer forgot and didn't participate in the area. So, what does he do? All the Mishnah, although the Mishnah does not say, he's a Mavato Rishos. What is Mavato, however? He's Mavato to them. I made a mistake. This mistake does not affect you. Mistakes affect me. I wrote the wrong thing. Just ignore me for a minute. Okay. So, guy who's Mavato to the other residents of the Chotzer, his domain in the Chotzer, but not his domain in his own house. His domain in his own house he kept. So, actually, Chotzer Shogar Mevlo here. His house is off limits both to them, to they, and to them. And to him and to them. Why? Because it's not part of the air. It's beyond the air, so nobody can carry in and out of the house. But they're allowed to carry their house into the Chotzer and from the Chotzer into their houses, and he can too. Why? Because they, he was Mavata, whatever, Shusi, and the Chotzer to them. So they now have full domain in the Chotzer. He is a guest, he, when he carries from their houses into the Chatzar, he's a guest of theirs. And being a guest, he can carry uh, back and forth. Okay? And that's the Rishusa. What if they all gave their Rishus to him? They're all about the Rishus to the guy who forgot. So who Mutter he can carry? Vayna Sur and they're also to carry. Why If there are two people, Osrim Zeh uh, they forbid each other because, in other words, if there are two people who didn't make an error, and you're about to choose to one of them, so then it's no good. Why? Because they, they in turn ask on each other. Two, one person can give and take Rishus. One, two can give, the ain't on no Rishus, but they cannot take because who's the belong to, and in that case, it doesn't allow the carrying. And we're just going to expand on that. Okay. Says Marshalem Mutar Mutarim Love Lam Bita uh Love Lam Shabita Rushusa. Why a case where where is Mavata's Rushus is he bo are both of them allowed to carry because he's Mavata's Rushus to the other guys. That's basically what it's made in mission. Now it says mission new point. The more new point. Mao Shatasu Khalilu. Can we play round robin with the bitl? I'm about to two for an hour, you're about to me for the next hour. I'm about to for the next hour, you're about to me for the next hour. Can we go round and round and round in circles? Is that permissible? Okay? So it says more, of course, it's a machlokas. Ra, Tamini, the Rabbi Shem Rav said, the Sunta Rav said, they have Rav Choseret's Chile, you can go round and round. Shmuel Amar, and Choseret's Chile, you can't go round and round. Matnisa, Pliga, Al Shmuel. The Mishnah argues on Shmuel, what Mishnah? The Mishnah says, Shalhen Mutarim Lov Lohem. It says, they can carry from his, uh, uh, they can carry from their houses into their yards, and he can carry from their houses in their yards. So the way the Ushami understands that at first, that means that he was Mabato his Rishus to them, and then they Mabato their Rishus to him. What does it mean? They can carry in and out of their houses, and he can carry in and out of their houses. It must be it's cyclical. First, we're mavatil to them, I'm mavatil to them, and then they're mavatil to me. So it's a riot against Shmuel, you see, you can make a cycle. Says my no! Shabita Rashuso. So by the way, he was mavatil to his Rashuso, they're not mavatil back to him. And in that case, he can carry. They can carry into their yard because they now own the whole yard since they renounce his rights. And he can carry from their house into their yard because he's just a guest by them. So there's no requirement to be Mavato back to the original Mavato. We're not playing round robin here. Every, they were just Mavato vis a vis the. Um, he was Mavato vis a vis the other guys. Okay? 
I understand the Mishnah has two cases. The first case says he's a Mavatil to them. And then the Mishnah says they gave their Rishus to him. In which case he's Mutter, they also. So the way you show me the answer for reasons which are unclear to me altogether is that this is talking about a place on the same Shabbos, in the same courtyard, and going back and forth, back and forth. Because the ratio of the Mishnah says he is a Mavatil to them. The same the Mishnah says they are about to tip. It must be the same shop. It's the same courtyard going around and around, round robin. It says, well, no. Plus, the Tzai reconciled that it's two separate state cases. Literally, they're two sides of the coin. He must see, so that's the way to read the Mishnah. Meaning that the Ferrace is talking about one scenario, and the same is talking about another scenario. Not necessarily in the same courtyard, not necessarily in the same shop. Now, the gear so here is all messed up. Let's go to the carbon Aida. Who we'll changes the gears in the fourth line, the last of the wide lines, Tani Echad. Okay? There's a logical series of discussions here. Tani Echad Shemes, one guy, I'm sorry. Scratch that. It has to do with what's later on in the Corbinator. Echad Shlomir, one guy who didn't make an Eruv. Shanait Sevishusul Echad Shirev, he can give his Eruv to one of the guys who made an Eruv. We have Ruvain, Shimon, and Levi. Shimon and Levi made an Erev together. Ruvain did not. Ruvain can be a vato to shus to Shimon. Now, later on, the Corbinator says, based on the Bavli, although I don't know why, how he knows the Ushami holds this way, but the Bible says it's only if Levi kicked the bucket. Because then there's only one guy left, Shimon. But if Shimon and Levi are both alive, he has to be a vato to shus to both of them. He can't just be a vato to to one of them. I don't know why now. I don't know why the Ushami has to agree with that. I see no illusion in the Ushami to that. The Ushami might hold that he be vital to one of the Eruv, of the, of the set of people made Eruv, because they're now a corporate entity. So he vital to one of them, it's as if he vital to all of them. But the Bible feels, and the corporate aider explains in, along with those lines, that you have to be, if there are many people around, still around, who all participate in Eruv, you have to be vato to all of them. You can't be vato to just one of them alone. Okay? Says the Gemara, that's the sense of Kormir, that's one case. Next case. Shnaim Shirvu. Two guys made an Erev. But they didn't they didn't make an Erev for anybody else. No, see, Rishus are lachat shlo Erev. They can give their shus to one of the guys who didn't make the Erev. Ushnaim shlo Erevu. And two guys who didn't make an Erev. No, see, Rishus are lachat shlo Erevu. They can give to both guys who made an Erev. Not to just one of them, the way the carbon explained, but to both. Oh, echo story ever to one guy didn't make an error. Avolo echo chiirev, but if one guy made an error, he can't be nicer shoes for echo chulo irev. He can't give us a shoes to someone he didn't make an error. It's either all of them or none of them. Why? Because they're a corporate entity. For one of them to give us a shoes to the guy who didn't make an error is meaningless. It's got to be that all of them give their shoes. So the guy didn't make an Eruv, in which case he can carry in and out the entire Chotzer, right? Again, I have a low this is just the Echot Shlomo Yerev. The Echnaim Shlomo two people didn't make an Eruv, cannot be Neis Rishusim L'Shnaim Shlomo Yerev. They can't give their Rishus to two people didn't make an Eruv, because what unites those two? Nothing. So if it's a meaningless gesture to be Mavat Rishus to two people didn't participate in making an Eruv, doesn't do you any good. It's a null and void activity. The ain't shlaim shlo irvu noisy mishus of shlaim shlo irvu, and of course, two did not make an eruv, cannot give their shus to two who did not make an eruv. Obviously speaking, right? Two who did make an eruv cannot give their shus, so any two who do not make an eruv cannot give their shus. Okay, let's go further in the Gemara. We're up to the uh, that brought us up to the sixth line, so thirty-three words to the end. How come noisy mishus and noisy mishus? Everybody can give and take Rishus. Chutz, with the exception of Shnaim Shlo Yervo, two did not make an Eruv. Shein, no Yisim Rishus, they can give Rishus. They know Rishus, they cannot take Rishus. Why can they not take Rishus? Because taking that no, does no good. Since they are not a corporate entity, they are taking somebody else's Rishus. Doesn't do any good for anybody carrying here. Rav Chizdayam out. I saw Yisrael Shiyudolim B'Bai Sechot. Ten Jews are living in the same house. So, 
they forgot to make an air all down for the Yamata Rashus to one of them in order they should be able to carry. Uh, I'm Rabbi Asa. I saw Akum Shere Dorim by Sechah. If you have ten Goyim in the same house, Kolech of Echot Tzorim Lask Rishus, we have to be several Rishus from each one of them. Each one of them independently. I'm a Rabbi Bo. Rabbi Bo said, "My Sabishlo Shaparsh the Echot." So my Sa was a wife of a certain Persian guy, a Shiksa. She's given Chatzis Shulah. Who rented out her courtyard, meaning her husband's courtyard, wasn't hers. Shalomi the house by without her husband's permission. Asked Kuyar Shmuel, so came for Rabbi Shmuel and asked if that was proper. And he said, it's surely permitted. Sorry, Mema, because they wanted to say, the reason was, Afilu Shamosho, we learned this in the Bavli, even the Shamish, even the Lakito, even the, the, the worker who collects, uh, um, can 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 um, it's the word transact can transact the schirs and shus you don't have to go to the owner that's why if we want to do schirs and shus nowadays contemporary say we don't have to go to the commissioner of police you can just go to a policeman on the beat because he's an employee of the police department can you actually give a quarter to a policeman and not be accused of a bribe? <laughs> so if you need to make an error, you just go to the policeman and give him a quarter. Scare some shows and say, I want to be several shows on the entire city of Chicago. And that should work. Okay. No, it can be even Jewish policeman because he's acting as a sucker and lucky of the city, which is primarily non Jewish. Okay? That the more the Yushami actually is going to get into that. As the camera, uh, 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 yeah, we just said. Now, halochi, that loch is Yisro Mavato, a Jew can be a Vato, a Akum Maskir, a Goy can be Maskir. Ask more of you, Vato Akum, why don't we have Bitu by a Goy? Says the Gora, because Goyim are stinkers. Don't say that here. Says something similar. Says Chazar Hubo. He'll renege. Whereas they don't trust him to keep his word and truly renounce it. Because he sees no Allah significant. He doesn't know about Allah. He thinks it's just a joke. So we'll renege. Ask him, If that is the case, I feel a mask What good does it do to rent from him? Once you rent from him, he'll also renege on the deal, right? So that's more fascinating answer. He can't renege on rental. Because once we rent it, it's ours. If he reneges on it, it's just a thief. We already acquired the rental. On its bittel, we didn't require it. It was a renouncement, renouncing that he might renege. But on Sira, he can't renege, and therefore that's the preferred method. Okay? Ad Echot. How much can he rent for? Yeva, let us say concerning this. Kaid Marabiasim Shem Raimona. By Tanchal Revo, same name Shem Rabbi Yochan, eight kakanil bogs of Shah Pruta. In order to acquire a kak, you have to spend a Shavit Pruta. So here, too, in order to rent for the Goy, it's got to be at least a Shavit Pruta. Says more, not true. Milsud Rabbi Yaakov Baracha Omar, I feel egos, I feel tomorrow. The following, uh, the following mice that Rabbi Yaakov Baracha will teach us that even a nut, even a date is sufficient. Rabbi Yaakov Baracha, it's a fascinating case. Nobody understands it, except for the Or Sameach. Explains it beautifully. Suzuga, remember I mentioned earlier tonight the Mesher Chochma, and back in Beis Tila. Now we're going to learn from his other Sefer, the Or Sameach. Or Sameach explains as follows. He says, by the way, Or Sameach in the Sefer has countless, countless explanations of Yerushalmi. Left and right. It's not a lot, a lot, he spent a lot of time explaining Rishami. So, besides which, he has a page on Rishami itself. So, it's, yeah, in the back, back of the words, not in the back of our shirts. In the back of the little and the big Mars. So not in the back of the medium sized Mars. I don't know why they didn't put it back there. All right. Rabbi It's a fascinating case. Rabbi Akabrach went to out to an inn. In Ava Mashkuch Me'avet Akkor, if he found an agent to make a Dakona, meaning to rent all the rooms from the guy who was the innkeeper, Ava, but he would do it. 
Meanwhile, what if the guy wouldn't do that for him? So Mevader Diskaya, he would scatter Mevader money, he would scatter his clothing. You have Chutrach, he would put a stick in one room. You have Sandolach, he put a sandal in another room. Diskaya is wallet, Hoch in another room. That's like Schiras Rishos. Because he's establishing a presence in all the rooms. Now, the Gemara, uh, before we go on, the Gemara says, hey, if you can establish Chirish Rishos by putting your sandal in a room, you certainly can be so Rishos by giving the Goya a nut or a date. Because this is also less than Shavar Pruta. You're not giving him anything. You're not even giving him a thing. You're just establishing a presence in the room. So if establishing a presence in a room is sufficient, certainly, sorry, certainly Chirish Rishos of less than a Pruta suffices as well. Okay? Says Gemore, I'm not master. How the time of Pundaki happened? That he did if the Pundaki was a guy. However, what about if a Pundaki was a Jew? I mean, Pundaki throws now. Here the man, the Orson man throws in a Pundaki was a Jew who forgot to make an error. He forgot. So there, the Rabbi Yaakov rely on bittul rishos. Why would he not have to place an object of clothing in each room? to assert his ownership. Hi, Rabbi Mayer said, quickly, remember I Mayer that Stoke, he said, quickly go and put your stuff in the movie before he takes out and reasserts his ownership. So he says, hey, no uh, Stokey is suspect that he's going to go and try and reassert his ownership. A Jew is not suspect that he's going to go and reassert his ownership once it's about to reshuz. So therefore he didn't have to put stuff in all the rooms like he had to do with the guy in order to assert his presence rather what he did is just to accept the bitl of the innkeeper towards him and that suffice okay hello down may must I know some rituals when can one give rituals they still let me even once it gets dark you can do it it's not a transaction so it's not but no reason not to do it on Shabbos itself so if he gave the truth and took out, he did bittle, but then he took out anyway. He took out b'shoyim or b'meizid. He answers according to Rabbi Meir. Now Rabbi Yisai, this is the Mishnah we are Masake. We fixed it earlier and said Eino Oser, right? That once I acquire possession by putting my stuff out, that guy cannot renege on the deal. And I get to keep it. Rabbi Romer makes it oyster shoyge and oyster. It says the pets we take the stuff out, but makes it Rabbi Shoyge takes stuff out unintentionally that cancels the bittel. Takes that unintentionally, he doesn't cancel the bittel. Okay, Kenny must need You should know where the mission should be read slightly different than how it appears inside. Should be read like this. May must I know the mission? Value shoes. They show me about you. I'm says from the daytime. They still. Oh, it's the question. Katie must see some baby. Maybe some value shoes. Be sure me me on the own. Be so me me should tell shock. Sounds like be so means only after nightfall. So that means be so is actually a certain extent machmir that it doesn't work during the day. So that's my no. Kini must see. This is the way to read it. Be so I mean as the word missing here. Af me should tell shock even after nightfall. Certainly during the day works. It even works after nightfall. The low cane who if not we wouldn't say that who must nisa. This Mishnah would be Mikule Beisham, Mikule Beisil, be a Chumran Beisil, Beisil. It doesn't work in the day, Dafka at night. So obviously it's not the case. What? Transaction. I know. But they hold it's a transaction. It's like Hefker. Hefker is a transaction. Not supposed to be Mafkin or Chavez. Only if Tzarek Mitzvah, like, such as Bittu Chametz. Okay? Amishitesh means here after Yes. Okay. Says the Mishnah further. Uh, Says the Mishnah further. Mishnah to Rishul Savahotzi. Kenny Masi is the way to read the Mishnah. Mishnah Bittu Rishul Savahotzi. Same idea. Nasan, we just uh, say the Nasan means bitta. Pay me shay, pay me moser, I say, Kili Masi is the way we said previously. Ain't also the way to read the Mishnah is that he doesn't answer. Tani, 
Shlaim she should be mecha. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It said two people were partners in a courtyard. Who made echamim one and then kicked the proverbial bucket. Uh, or benafla bais. I'm sorry, not or benafla bais. You should echamim shul because the the house fell as Yerusha as an inheritance of somebody in the marketplace, and he hadn't made an interview. Yet. This occurred before nightfall. I raised the oyster then. Now let's carry that Shabbos because he didn't make an Arab yet. Mishrasheh would happen after nightfall. Ain't oyster. Then they're still out to carry. Why? Because once Shabbos started with the head to the carry, because the guy was still alive then, even though he died later on that day, it started bad that you can continue carrying. Okay? Once you started, you can continue. Says the Gemara. Rabbi Yaakov Shem Rav Chanina. Did I skip? Yeah, Mishchashen or Rei... Oh no, I didn't. Rabbi Yaakov Shem Rav Chanina said the Beis Shammai. This is Beis Shammai. The Beis Shammai or Mim Eim Vat Rishus Mishetel Shem. Because Beis Shammai also said you can't be a Vat Rishus after darkness. Beis Shammai Mim Vat Rishus Mishetel Shem. Because Beis Shammai, what's the problem? Even if, if, whenever it happened, you could just be a Vat Rishus right then and there. Get that guy who inherited it and get it to be a Vat Rishus. I'm Rabbi Yisri, Rabbi Boone. Truth is, it works like everybody. Mikem and Shemais ain l'cha mebitel reshus gadol mizeh. Once he died, he's mevatel reshus. Involuntary. In involuntary bitel reshus. So therefore, whatever works works both according to Beis Shilam and Beis Shammai, right? Whatever doesn't work doesn't work according to both. But the bitel reshus occurred with this. Okay. What if the other way around? You have somebody who's who, who, who in the marketplace who owns a house in the Chatzar and he's alive and he dies. Who makes? And the house then falls inheritance to one of the members of the Chatzar. Before nightfall, I raise the oyster. So it answers. What do they have an after nightfall? It doesn't answer. Says more Odi Beis Shammai. This is like Beis Shammai because like Beis Shammai. If you didn't do bitter shus from before Shabbos began, it's also the rest of Shabbos. Beis Shammai means a mevatli mishus mishetech shach. Beis Shammai means a mevatli mishus mishetech shach. Beis Shammai says you can't do it. Beis Shammai says you can't do it. So here the Gemara agrees. More agrees here that since it went to a guy who's in the courtyard, so therefore. Even according to Beis Shammai, if Shabbos began Beis it's too late because you can't make the transaction on Shabbos. Because now it belongs to somebody who's in the courtyard. He has to actually be about to show specifically where it belongs to somebody in the courtyard who just dropped dead, and now it is there by somebody else. So that's a bit of reshus, right? And it should work even according to Beis Be- 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 Shammai as long as that before Shabbos, even without a concrete bit of reshus. However, where it felt where before it belonged to a member of the courtyard, uh, to, to member of, uh, to somebody outside the courtyard, and now it felt to somebody in the courtyard before Shabbos began, so then you got to have a concrete bit of reshus, because now it actually belongs to somebody who's here now. You know, he owns it, he has to bit of reshus, otherwise it's going to ask for the rest of the courtyard. I'm not making myself clear. Let me do that one more time. Where where it, where it belonged originally, somebody in the courtyard, and he participated in it, but he didn't participate in it. It doesn't really matter. And then he died. So even though somebody else inherited it, it was outside the courtyard, we don't have to take it into account, because the guy dying is like his mevat rishus, and that suffices. Man of shach. If it happened before Shabbos, so he's mevat rishus by dying. Rashakoyach. If it happened on Shabbos, so you don't need bitter rishus because at the beginning of Shabbos. The bit of, it was it was mutter, right? Because this guy this guy must have been part of an Arab. Must have been part of the Arab. So what happened on Shabbos, it's mutter because there was an Arab when Shabbos began. And before Shabbos, so it's Vatar Shus, that in of itself is when he died, that itself is a bit of shoes. But what about the other case where it originally belonged to somebody outside the courtyard and now it was narrated by somebody in the courtyard. Right? So now it's a he's a fact. So if that happened before Shabbos began, it says Bishamai, the guy who now owns it has got to do Bittu before Shabbos begins. Because if he doesn't do Bittu, he owns it and he's in the courtyard, he's the factor. He's the one who made it a factor because he's here, so therefore it's going to be awesome. Only thing that happened when Shabbos began is it okay, because then since Shabbos began by Heter, so then you don't have a problem continuing with that answer. Okay? 
Malavato. Mal now here it says Malavato. It's a major typo. Means because Mal, Malavato is our Mishnah's discussion. Maliskor Rishus Mishatech Shav. Can he rent from a guy once Shabbos begins? Rabbi Chia and Rabbi Asa, Rabbi Aima, Salkul Lachamso the Goder. So he went to Chamas Goder. Now this is a very interesting case. Levin brings down the name of Noam Yushami. The case itself, which is in the Bavli and not the Yushami. The case itself was they came to Chamas Goder and they stayed in the house of an innkeeper who was not present, a Goyesha innkeeper. And they carried. The reason why they carried is because they said, He's not here. Diras Akum ain't no Saras unless the guy is present. Since Diras Akum are if he's not present, we can carry. In the middle of Shabbos, the guy came home. Now what do we do? Okay? So, uh, 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 the, so there, Shalom Rabbi Chama Bar Yosef Bishorah. That's Rabbi Chama Bar Yosef. And he allowed it to be Sir Rishus. Shaman Rabbi Chia Vomar, Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan heard this and he said, Yofa Asisa. You didn't do good. So Zamar Ma Pligin, are they arguing? Sounds like they're arguing with you so much of the Shabbos. Zamar said, no. Rabbi Zir Ma Lo Pligin, Rabbi Zir says they're not arguing. Madam, are you off as he said? Rabbi Yochel said you're doing good. That now you're renting on Shabbos because everybody agrees you're allowed to rent on Shabbos. Madam, I lost this in your affair. Rabbi Yochel said you didn't do good. But he said he'll tell them that you carried before the guy came. You shouldn't have carried before he came lest he comes on Shabbos. That was what was wrong. Not the schir's the shos. Go be schir's the shos on Shabbos. Cake is on the eight. What's wrong is that you carried before the guy got here. Okay? Rabbi Bo Amar Plege Rabbi Bo said they argue Madam Ayof Asisimil says he did good Shesachatim and Shetil Taltem Both in the that you're so now And that you're Metalta before Madam Ayof Lo Asisimil He holds it's not good Lo Shesachatim and Lo Shetil Taltem Not that you rented Nor that you carried Neither of the things were good We will stop here for this evening Because that's where I got up to a